okay but for people who don't know about the people who are new to the business okay let me tell about him a little bit so he is so for people who come from a heavy corporate background all those people know so listen to me yeah? he is somebody who has done multiple degrees he is a law graduate uh, he has done his mba from uh, isb hyderabad the number one uh, business school in india okay and he has worked with big big corporate giants like reliance at a very senior position okay, he has worked for more than a decade Okay, he was a company secretary. Okay, so that is his corporate background. So people don't love him just because of that. People love him for something else. People love him for the heart. Understand? He has touched so many people's life, changed so many people's life. He is not by he is not uh, himself is a max out king. He has created so many max outs. You all know max out, the maximum earning per week. Okay, he has helped so many people reaching that. There are so many people in his organization as maxed out. Okay, not only that, you hear about different stars, sapphire star, platinum star, diamond star. Okay, he has people in all these different star in his organization. Okay. He has touched so many people's lives. So personally, for me, you know, the person whom I, you are seeing now, and if you have seen me ten years before, I was nobody. So whatever good in me that you see is all because of him. Uh, he has, he has, you no, know, he's been very patient in carving me. Okay. And people generally think upline is somebody who help you to reach your maximum potential. No, but he says it's different. Okay, he is somebody who increases your maximum potential. He shifts the maximum potential line. I still remember he has put me. He always put me in some uncomfortable situations. No? Every time uh, he put me in uncomfortable situation, right? Which I I, I never felt I could have done. If he has not done it, he always put me in an uncomfortable situation and make me realize this is my potential. My potential is bigger than this. Yeah, so he is that kind of a person. Okay, and anybody who talks to him, who meets him, who spend even five minutes, will go back with his life changed. So that kind of a person. Yeah, he doesn't see. He doesn't judge people. Whoever he meets, uh, from any background, doesn't matter. You can you can see the love from him. Okay, I still remember my initial days when I met him when he first came to Chennai. I was in Chennai, a small ten team team people team. So he came and uh, he took uh, a small visa. So after that. Uh, uh, when we met him after the vessel is over, we met him. So he was talking to all the people, telling their names also. And you know, uh, the South Indian names will be very difficult to pronounce for North Indians, right? Say vice versa, right? So he was telling everybody's name. I was surprised. So I was asking him, "I, how can you remember all these names?" Then he taught me something very, very valuable. If you're intent in place, Vijay, he will remember everything. When you take a genuine interest on someone, then this is nothing. Okay. So this is my this is my first interaction, initial days interaction. From then onwards, you know, he started putting the right culture, right DNA. Okay. So you are here. You are so lucky. You are blessed today to listen from him directly. Yeah, are you guys ready? Yeah, really. Okay. So please help me welcome my applying, my brother, my friend, and our mentor, none other than. 
ದಿ ಕೌನ್ಸಿಲ್ ಆದಿತ್ಯ ಸರ್ವಜಿತ್ ಬಲ್ಲ ಬಾಯ್ ಗರ್ಜುನೂನ್ ಹು ಸರ್ವೆ ತೆರೆ ಅಂತರ್ ಮೇ ಹೋ ವಿಶ್ವಾಸ ಥಿರ್ ಠೋಕರ್ ಔರ್ ಠುಕರಾನೆ ಕಾ ತುಮೆ ಎಹಸಾಸ ಮಕ್ಸದ ಮೇ ಸಚ್ಚಾಯಿ ಹೈ ತೋನಾ ಠೋಕ ಯಹಿ ಕೌ ಮಕ್ಸದ ಮೇ ಸಚ್ಚಾಯಿ ಹೈ ತೋನಾ ಠೋಕ ಯಹಿ ಕೋ ರಿಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರೆಸ್ ದುನಿಯಾ ತುಮಕೋ ವಿಶ್ವಾಸ ಅಪನೇ ಖಡೆ ರೋ दुनिया बदली है जिसने भी पहले उसको इनकार मिला दुनिया बदली है जिसने भी पहले उसको इनकार मिला अपमानों का हार मिला और दानों का उपहार मिला और श्वास में अब विश्वास भरो और लहरों के विपरीत भो हाथों में विजय मशाल लिए विश्वास पे अपने खड़े रहो विश्वास पे अपने खड़े रहो अड़े रहो अड़े रहो अड़े रहो so much thank you please take your seats thank you very much good morning thank you thank you thank you you know these videos and all are i wash <laughs> don't take it too seriously i remember chief always says they don't take your hype too seriously and i think this is this is the side effect of our business you know so much of love so much of edification so let me also empty my cup uh, honestly you know i am nothing i am nobody and this is this is uh, the power of love and this is what i realized the most important ingredient in any success story okay is love every success story is actually a love story the question is are you really ready to love yourself your dreams your people and even strangers can you do that so vijay was a stranger for me satya was a stranger for me all your uplines were strangers for me right and then so many met so many cross lines you know who were strangers and now today they're like my brothers and sisters they're my family right so that's that's the that's the extra benefit of network marketing you know the chain business <laughs> it's a chain of love it's a chain of trust it's a chain of integrity and so i think uh, this last 12 years almost 12 years just went like this if it was not love you know it will be very difficult so thank you so much everybody thank you i am really really blessed to have you all in my life and today you know they have put extra pressure on me bhai diwali super special sunday system ah. <laughs> so i can see a lot of you sitting in the you know in your system locations many of you are attending through youtube i know many teams are attending through different different locations and some of you are in individual windows uh now i want to speak to all those people who are in individual windows right ekla cholo re you know this ekla cholo if you are a translator okay you know but if you are in the same city if you are in the same city where a system is happening physical system is happening even if let's say you are in 100 km vicinity unless you are in a hospital hmm unless you are in a hospital you should be in that system 
Okay, so I don't know why you are sitting at home and attending the system. I am assuming there is no physical location system happening in your city. But if it is happening, then you must be in that physical system because that energy, that environment is what you badly need. All of us need, okay? All of us need that association. That's why it is called power of association. You understand? So promise me, all of you all promise me that from, you know, next Sunday system, wherever it is happening, you go and plug yourself to the nearest physical system. Okay? It is very, very important. Just one day, right? We can do that. We must do that. Okay, great. So, uh, now I know, you know, all of all, everybody's in the festival mode. You now, starting from October, like, you know, VP Dev always says, you know, his one of his most famous system is that Christmas mist. And for, I think for most of you all, it is Diwali. And then, you know, then, you know, so starting from October, all the festivals start. Correct or not? Till the new year. Till the new year. Right? So Diwali, then Eid, then I don't know, Christmas, then New Year. And it is very easy, very easy to get swayed in this whole festivity. Right? It is very easy. And this is what most of the people do. This is what ordinary people do. Right? They get excited when there is a festival. True or not? And this morning, you know, Dato Sri sent a very beautiful message. So let me share, start the system with that message on Diwali. He said, Diwali is a festival of lights, right? Festival of lighting the lamp. But do you know who is that lamp? What is that lamp? The lamp is you. The only lamp worth lighting is you. Are you lighting yourself up? And the only way you can light up yourself is with joy, happiness, excitement, right? Being alive itself means you are lit, true or not? You know, the lamp only will shut down when we know we are gone. So, so long we are alive, a lamp should be lit. But sadly, most of us have become so used to of so used to of some external happiness something some people some external source of happiness and we have forgotten that the actual what we need to be happy to be excited is within us so i wish you all a very happy diwali which means you all light up that joy that happiness inside of you right and today, you know, uh, this system is special for me. You know, I know how many of you are attending this system for how many attending for the first time? I know I'll not be able to see everybody, but just a show of hand, attending a system for the first time or a physical system, or how many of you have just started the business? Let's say last six months started the business in last six months. Uh, please raise your hands. Guys, I can see you. Huh? Kolkata, I can see you. Bangalore, Chennai, I can see you all, right? Delhi, Jaipur. I know a lot of people attending from different, different cities, right? Pakistan, Saudi. Can you all see me? I can see you all. <laughs> So good morning, everybody. Assalamu alaikum. Namaste. Raise your hand. So if you started your business in last six months, raise your hand. Or oh, last less than one year. You're still new. First of all, you need to understand it, it, is, it is a journey. Okay. So it is not the final destination. It is a journey which starts with you being there. Right. So whether you have started this business today. Six months back, one year back, it does not matter. What matters is, where are you today? Are you present here, 100%? Do you have your face in the right direction? Are you willing to go in the right direction? Are you willing to move forward? Because many people start this business and they think, 
okay, I will make a lot of money. Yes, of course, you will make a lot of money. Like when I started this business, honestly, I did not believe I will make a lot of money. I did not believe that I, made, I will make a lot of money. I had this fair idea. Yes, money is possible. But I never believed. Okay, so first of all, let me tell all of you all, this is not going to be chit-chat call. Okay, so please lower your hands. Okay, all of you all lower your hands. <laughs> I will not be interacting with you all. Otherwise, we will not be able to finish the system. Okay, this is not a chit-chat call. I'll talk to you in a chit-chat call later. All right, so focus on what I am saying. Focus on what I am telling you. Okay, so when I started this business, and I know many of you would not know my story, so let me share briefly about my story. So I started this business in February 2011. Okay, and just like most of you, I had my own fears, my my doubts, my you know my compulsions, my limitations. So I was working in a company called Reliance, right? And just a small clarification, like you know, Vijay said, no, he has done law degree. You know, I I appeared all my exams, but I never went to take my degree because most of the entrepreneurs, you know, they they are they are famous for quitting their degrees, you no, know, in between. So I thought I should also have one degree. So I never completed my law degree. Okay, though technically I studied for three, four years, but I never completed my law degree. So I did my CS, I did my, you know, education, I did my MBA. Okay, so my only objective was that how can I increase, how can I increase my worth, my value in the corporate world? And I think that's how most of us think that you know something, you have some knowledge, you have some experience, and you want to use that experience, knowledge, skill, right? To earn some money. Because from very early on in my life, money was a very big topic. How many of you have faced money issues in your life? Please raise your hand. Or heard about money, money matters in your family. Mommy, Papa talking about money, right? Not this month, next month, this problem, that problem, right? This bill, that bill. I think we all have grown up. All of us have grown up hearing about these conversations, right? So very early on, I realized that money is a very hot topic, very big thing. And money was always less. Yes, when I was small, my father was doing very well. Okay, so I've seen those days also when, you know, as a, as a small kid, I used to have a wallet. My father used to give me 500 rupees as a monthly pocket money. And that was big money that time. From there, then to struggle to fill up entrance form, right? Which is for 500 rupees. And there is no 500 rupees in the whole family. So this all happened in a, in a short span of time. And I realized that if I don't take care of my career, if I don't take care of my education, then I have no future. So I was forced to, you know, mentally, I had that pressure of doing well in my career. And I worked really hard for it. So all those people who work hard in their jobs, I respect them. Okay. All those people who are sincere in their jobs, right? I respect them. Because these are the qualities which will help you become successful in this business also. You understand? So I worked really very hard. I changed my industry. I changed my jobs. I changed my profiles. I did a lot of things so that I can become more suitable, you know, more worthy of different, different jobs. And I kept growing. But like most of you know, job means what? It is just a glorified, it's a glorified way of saying knockery, knocker. Do you understand? In Hindi, you know, job means what? Knockery. So I remember when my, I got my first offer letter, you know, my dadaji was not educated. So I told him, Mirina knockery lagi. And then he said, Achha, knocker ban gaya. That you have become somebody's servant. And I did not like it. <laughs> I did not like it. <laughs> I said, Inko pata nahi hai na, padhe likhe nahi hai na. 
he is not educated now that's why he doesn't know right because my title was executive you know executive not knocker i started as an executive then i became senior executive then i became assistant manager deputy manager you you know the drill right you all know the drill right so those titles keep us aloof they keep us away from this reality that it is actually nokri like somebody you know let's say there is a maid at your place right how much do you how much do you genuinely care for that person you know you care for the work if the work is not good enough you will change the maid true or not so i realized that for most of the companies employees are just like that maid they can change they can fire they can hire new maid you understand so long our skills knowledge experience is generating money for them they will use it so i i learned a lot of things but my first 10 years in corporate right it also made me realize that it does not matter this 10 years next 10 years or even next 10 years because i had met my bosses all coming from great backgrounds you know very knowledgeable people i have learned so many things from them they all were kind of you know mentor elder brothers to me and i realized the journey in the corporate is just you know it's 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 the same thing but on a magnified scale you understand so your emis may be smaller in the beginning and then your emis will become bigger right your tensions may be smaller and then your tensions will become bigger as your title increases your tensions and your liabilities and your stress levels become bigger correct and the worst thing is worst thing is you know i was not able to give time to my own son let me share this i have shared this many times in my welcome also you know the biggest pain that i had and i know many of you have done your dream list how many of you have done your dream list i hope you all have done if you are even one day two days old in the business your welcome is done you must have done your dream list that's the must most important activity in this business right so when i did my dream list i realized the biggest pain i had was okay so when i was going through my my life and writing my dreams what is my what is my motivation what is driving me i realized the biggest pain i had was when i was growing up my father was not there you know because he was the single person earning he had a small shop and many of you can relate right most of the time fathers are expected to be busy mothers are expected to be at home take care of the kids take care of the family but fathers are expected to be away everybody wants them to be away true or not in fact when my when my father could not work and he was at home it was a big problem you understand so all my life i saw my father working so hard right and when he will come back home in the evening either he'll be you know too upset he'll be too stressed he'll be tensed so many tensions so many problems of a small businessman which he cannot even share with his family which he cannot share with us you know we were all kids true so we only grew up being scared i was scared of my father i was scared of his anger and i could not speak to him i could not talk to him you understand and this is a very normal thing this is very much you know acceptable thing in middle class families and particularly when it comes to father and son father and son it is a very accepted norm right you know everybody takes it for granted yeah yeah no men too men no they are like this only right no men are not like this men are not supposed to be like this who said men should be like this so i realized that i was getting into the same trap that what i faced with my father now it was the same trap same thing happening with my son because he was already 5 and 1/2 years old okay 
and i would come back home late in the evening sometimes you know very very late then there are deadlines presentations stress targets all those things and i could never be happy right i could never be stress free and i could see the same thing happening with my next generation you see the chain business you see this is also chain now from one generation to next generation the stress the chain you know the chain of stress the chain of tension you know from one generation to next generation to next generation chain of emis chain of stress chain of you know no communication <laughs> because men don't know how to communicate because they never get enough time to talk communicate right so one of my biggest reason to start this business was of course money was always there in my mind but one of the biggest reason to start this business was i wanted to be a happy father i wanted to be a stress free joyful father you understand and that's the reason when i started this business you know my my place of work was in in navi mumbai so people from bombay would know you know, navi mumbai is like you know it's a different country only you know? it's actually not bombay <laughs> you need a visa and passport <laughs> to go to bombay <laughs> right so navi mumbai is like far off but my office was there so i used to live in navi mumbai and my work was just 10 15 minutes away right go to office come back home in the evening weekends you know go to a mall watch a movie you know that time mango juice and all so I, this was my typical life but when i started this business when i started this business you know my my work my place of association right was in bandra and people who know bombay you know navi mumbai to bandra is like almost like 40 kilometers right and evening time office hours imagine it will take at least one and a half hours two hours to reach there and i don't remember a single day not even one single day i missed my association not even one day so imagine i'm in the car right in the evening and i have to take a decision you know i'm driving if i go straight i will reach home in 10 minutes and if i take this loop bridge which used to go to chembur and to bandra it will take me another one and a half hours two hours of back to back traffic pollution everything now you tell me if you are in that spot where you have to take that decision every day what will drive you what will motivate you you know if people give you money yes money for some day, some days you will go for some day you will go money is important right and obviously you will not start earning money from day one in the business sometimes you will earn sometimes you will not earn it's business right money is not going to fall from trees so what will drive you what will make sure that i take that loop bridge every day is love is the power of love you understand money cannot drive you beyond a certain point so i realized so i was just honest in you know feeling that love for my son i said i i want to do this because if i don't do this then i can see what is coming i can already see right and that's why you know i put his picture in my phone okay every time i have doubt i have this question i just look at his face smiling face and say okay this smile will go if i don't work hard today this smile will go because tomorrow he will also grow up to become a stressful you know person true and starting from there you know 9 months back to back every single day so imagine i used to go there meet my great uplines right sachin bhai kavita sharfon you know all these great leaders that you see today they were actually nobodies they were nobodies you know only only edified upline was uh dev you know vp dev now he's a v partner you know that time he was not even v council i remember he became v council also later <laughs> just heard about dev vadwani you know dev vadwani this this name we had heard dev vadwani right so vijay dada you know sachin bhai all all these old
you understand i just want to be there whether there is a plan or no plan whether i am learning something today not learning you know it's all secondary this all comes later the problem is today we are so rigid we are so we want to you know we want to extract something today okay so what will i gain so if today i go to association what will i gain hello <laughs> what will i gain are you gaining every day in your life yeah i know you are gaining weight for sure but why this transactional mind all the times you know you have to do lot of things lot of things before you even understand few things so if you don't love if you don't love the unknown if you're not excited for the unknown you can never know anything true so you have and that is why i'm saying you know you have to be a lit person you have to first light that lamp inside of you to feel that joy that excitement that love in you and then you do everything it becomes effective it becomes exciting so that excitement comes from you not from the thing not from others it comes from you you understand have you seen you know when when let's say you know you are sitting in association and sometimes you know person comes and everybody gets excited you know a client comes he brings his own energy and everybody gets you know excited halchal halchal why <laughs> and each one of us has that potential has that power in us so my only goal was just to be in association so that i am in this safe and obviously you know by default the learning used to happen so imagine i'll read sometimes you know 6 7 o'clock sometimes you know if i'm very lucky leave early office some do some you know something i can manage i reach 6 7 o'clock it's like a bonus you know so i'll get to see from the beginning the action is happening from the beginning sometimes i'll reach late 8 9 o'clock sometimes 10 o'clock you know plans are already in the thick of plans you know a lot of action is happening and i'm like you know like lost puppy you know don't know what to do <laughs> everybody is busy and i have no work no team nothing true but still i'll be excited i'll just observe i'll see you know if i can sit close to somebody just sit close without disturbing and then you know looking at my excitement you know, sometimes a plan will say ah come 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 adi come sit 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 they'll make me sit in somebody else's plan right now if you are sitting in somebody else's plan please don't be casual don't be you know uh, and then you are disinterested this you know you are spoiling somebody's plan don't do that it's a great opportunity to learn right so that's how i learned i never missed association i learned from everything happening in the association right directly or indirectly now i know many of you are in zoom babies you know proudly call yourself i am a zoom baby <laughs> don't you know this is this is not something to be very proud of okay zoom baby means you survived congratulations very good right you're still there but but make that extra effort to get out of your comfort zone okay your zoom has become your comfort zone okay zoom is good to connect right like today i'm grateful you know thanks to zoom i can see all of you right but if i make this as my handicap then you know i lost a bigger battle you understand i became a lazy person that should never happen that should never happen because in this whole 12 years of my journey you know what i realized was the the battle is only here the battle is only here who you are and what you want to become you know so who you are today and what you become one day that's that's the difference right like we do in welcome also no from a to b from a to b right so who you are today you are a mother you are an employee you are an engineer you are a teacher you are a doctor you are a business who you are today and what do you want to become can you define what you want to become do you have imagination do you have that visual of what you want to become or is it about okay let me see what i can become whatever i can become it will be better than today no so let me just keep working now that's not a bad approach it can work for some time 
but it will not drive you for the long game it will not drive you in the long run because the business that we are in right and for the information of everybody on this call right all those people who who have just started the business if you don't know this is called network marketing okay like i know my first time you know when i attended a big meeting a, you know a, a sunday system i saw a few hundred people you know i was like oh, is this that chain thing i have i joined a chain thing because honestly i had no clue about network marketing so my first sunday system only i realized that i have joined something <laughs> so if you are new to this business and you are you are not aware of network marketing or direct selling industry let me tell you right up here this is network marketing this is called direct selling industry this is one of the most powerful industries on the planet right just to give you some big numbers you know management mein ye karte hain hum log we impress people with big numbers presentations jargons right 200 billion dollars now i want you to write down ha huh? do you have pen paper all of you have write pen paper ha huh? write down 200 now how many zeros in a billion how many zeros in a billion so 200 comma 000 comma 000 comma 000 big number no 200 <laughs> and then nine zeros unbelievable and this is dollars ha huh? this is dollars 1 billion dollar is 8000 crores 1 billion dollars is 8000 crores so you can imagine how big this industry is this is annual turnover annual turnover countries have their gdps many countries have their gdps in the range of 50 billion dollar 70 billion dollar many countries don't have their gdp the whole gross domestic product but direct selling industry the chain thing you know the chain thing you know the chain thing this chain thing has 200 billion dollars of annual turnover is close to around you know hundreds of millions of people working in this industry and this is all data from you know from renowned authorities it's not data that i am cooking up right so my point is we don't understand this industry so this journey is all about you from starting with fear doubt questions to actually becoming a network marketing professional becoming a qnet distributor right and then understanding distributor is not just so from a nobody from a fearful person you know your first level of understanding can be okay become a salesman so all i have to do is that's easy to understand no so these are the four different stages okay four different stages that an uh, ir goes through first is is a scared non committing ir you understand <laughs> then second stage he understands okay that means product and services i have to just you know tell people about products and services so you can become a salesman right and lot of people can relate to sales because they have seen people doing sales and that in fact that is one of the biggest reason why people don't start network marketing they think it's about selling you understand they have this fear that i have to sell these products and services to my my friends my family no who will buy from me i have never done sales i have never done sales right so that is their first level of understanding at, but at least they start understanding there are products and services and the product and services of course without there being product and services there cannot be so on on the side let me explain you what basic business means okay i'll come to those four stages later so 
any business, there has to be three things. One is there has to be some product or service. True. Second, there has to be some customer buying the product or service. Right. And third, there has to be money value exchange for it. Because if I give you product and service and you don't pay me, it's a gift. Correct or not? So all three things, all three components are required to make it a business. Right? Product and services, customers, and money. Without this, this cannot be a business. So first level of understanding is, okay, this is a business. But they become a salesman in their head. They think if I push this product and services, somebody comes and buys this product, then I will make some money. So that is the second stage. And then the third stage is when people understand, okay, this is not just selling. It is about building a distribution network. Right? Oh, I'm not just a salesman. I'm a QNET distributor. Right? I can build my business. I can appoint a distributor. You understand? I can refer people in different cities, different countries, so I can build a global distribution network. So that is the third stage. That is the third level of understanding. And finally, you understand it is about entrepreneurship. You know, becoming an entrepreneur is actually a completely different ball game. So people who become successful in this business, People who become successful in network marketing are those people who, who understand the fourth stage first. Who understand it is not about selling. It is not just about building a distribution network. It is about becoming an entrepreneur. Because there is, that's why network marketing is called free entrepreneurship. Free entrepreneurship means what? The access, access to entrepreneurship. Now think about any other business. There are so many barriers. Just to call yourself a restaurant owner, you need to put in so much of money. You understand? So nobody becomes a business owner. Nobody becomes an entrepreneur just like that. It is only in network marketing that that opportunity is available to everybody. Each one of us has the same opportunity. We all can become entrepreneurs from day one if we decide. So the question is, which category you will fall in? Are you still that non-committed IR who's checking, testing, fearful or you want to do this business like a salesman okay i can talk to people tell them you know why are we not telling them products so, you know tell them the products and this or you are fearful about products you know who will buy this product because you have a mindset of a salesman true and then people who start learning start understanding start you know reading about the industry about the company they expand their mindset and they start thinking about building a distribution network. But ultimately you realize it is about becoming an entrepreneur. It is about solving. You know, what? who is an entrepreneur? So people who are not part of the business world, they're all consumers. Correct or not? They're all consumers. They, all, they always want something. They always want something. Salesmen, they provide them products and services. You understand? A businessman creates a system, creates an environment. Right? Where he is selling products and services. And makes money, makes profit. Businessman is driven by profits. You understand? An entrepreneur, entrepreneur is driven by contributing to the world, solving a problem, solutions. You understand? 
So you need to ask yourself, do you want to become a salesman or do you want to become an entrepreneur? Because I realized I was solving the biggest problem of my life. An entrepreneur does not solve others' problem. He sees a problem first. He finds a problem, you know, which he himself experienced, true or not? We are not great to solve other people's problem. No, cannot. So a lot of people, you know, in network marketing, they make this mistake. No, no, I don't need this business. I'm just doing to help others. You will never become successful because you are not honest to your own problems. You're not understanding what is the real problem. And you know why I love this business so much? Why I fell in love with network marketing? So let me tell you a story. Okay, so this was, I think, during my MBA days. Okay, so I was watching this video by Mukesh Ambani. Right, he's one of the richest person on earth. And he, he was talking about a billionaire's mindset. He was talking about a billionaire's mindset. So what he said in that interview, he said, all rich people or all entrepreneurs, you know how they become rich? They always look at a problem and solve that problem. So if you solve a problem which touches a million people, so if you solve a problem which touches a million people, you'll become a millionaire. If you solve a problem which touches a billion people, you will become a billionaire. Powerful, right? Because if you solve the problem which billion people can use or can benefit and they pay you one dollar only, you will be earning a billion dollars. True or not? The challenge is 97% people, 97% people are only worried about their problems. First of all, their problems. And secondly, they don't solve their own problems throughout their life. So where is the question of solving anybody else's problem? True or not? How can I solve somebody else's problem? If my EMIs, my problems are not solved, how can I help somebody become you know, financially better, not possible. True. So why network marketing is so powerful is because it helps me not only solve my problem, it helps me help others to solve their problem also. And the biggest problem on this planet, guys, I know hunger, poverty, all these are great, big, big problems in front of us, right? And my heart goes for all those problems. But can I, can I solve any of those problems today? When I'm in my job, when I'm paying my bills, my EMIs, I don't have time. Can I solve any of these problems? Cannot. And let me tell you something very interesting. So if you look at the whole population, right? There is ultra poor people. So let's say, 10% of the population is poverty, below poverty, right? Correct or not? Then there is maybe 5% of the top population which is super duper rich. All the billionaires and millionaires. Right? And then there is in between. You know in between? So this 80% of the population is actually the middle class. 80% of the population is the middle class. So if 7.5 billion is the population of the world, then close to 6 billion people are actually in the middle class. And this middle class people are all God-fearing people. Most of them are educated. Most of them are working. They pay their taxes. They don't cheat anybody. And the sad part is they cannot beg. You understand? Most of the government policies, UN, all this charity work is for the below 15%, you know, the last 15% people. Top 5% people don't need anything. 
this six billion population of the world this is the this is the biggest biggest chunk of people who are so i would say so much in pain like i was in pain and they cannot even express anybody they cannot even go and cry in front of anybody out of the 6 billion i think maybe 60% will be men who are supposed to not cry in front of anybody true or not and yet we are not able to solve the most fundamental problem of the 6 billion people and that is how do i make sure that my inflow of money is more than my outflow that's it income problem you know income problem is the most the biggest problem of this world money whether it is health whether it is relationship whether it everything boils down to money you understand and middle people middle class only you will see all the problems because they don't know how to manage this one basic problem of their life and i realized network marketing solves this problem so you know ever since i watched that interview ever since i watched that interview you know i had this thought in my mind how what what problem can i solve what problem can i solve which touches a billion people if i want to be a millionaire i can can i solve a problem which touches a million people or a billion people and then one day you know during one of my you know initial days in this business right i remember that interview and i remember this you know what we are doing datusri says touching a billion hearts right it is only possible in network marketing it is only possible in network marketing the question is are you seeing it like that are you realizing what you are part of or are you just myopic in your view and you just looking at your emis your problems today no problem but are you willing are you willing to work extra effort are you put are you ready to put in that extra effort to solve your problem because if if you had not been able to solve if you not been able to solve last 10 years 15 years 30 years right are you ready to give yourself a fair chance in this business if somebody is telling you all these problems can be solved if somebody has solved all these problems in this business if you see your uplines who are now full timers in this business if you see your uplines who are at least not worried about they may not be maxed out but at least they are not worried about their monthly bills then are you ready to submit to this process are you ready to learn are you ready to become that entrepreneur who's solving a problem because the real value of our business is of course you know products are great right i love i have all the products right water filter energy products you know the air purifiers everything is unbelievable our own swiss watches handmade swiss watches but the challenge is if you are a salesman if you have the sales sales mindset then you only get stuck with the product and unfortunately most of us have never used good quality premium products we always buy the sasta product true or not how many of you before coming in this business had a handmade swiss watch yourself you bought your own rolex tell me no you understand so the challenge is we are not even a good salesman we are only a customer who is thinking of buying the cheapest product so with that mindset if you want to build this business it is not going to happen it is not going to happen you know who is an entrepreneur entrepreneur is somebody first of all he sees a, an opportunity to solve a problem are you able to see this as an opportunity to solve your problem first of all you tell me network marketing you know what is network marketing so let me summarize network marketing for you okay the first thing in network marketing is cost saving so cost saving versus cost cutting 
What is better? Cost saving or cost cutting? So all the intelligent people, all the degree holders, engineers, MBAs. What is better? Cost saving is any day better than cost cutting. Why incur that cost that you will have to cut later? Because when you cut cost, a lot of people lose, you know, lose their jobs, they lose their lives. Right. So cost saving is the fundamental crux, fundamental essence of network marketing. Why waste money? So whatever you save, you pass on the value to the customer. So that is the first, uh, I would say, first pillar of network marketing, cost saving. Then the second is, second is ownership versus slavery. When you become a distributor, when you register yourself as a distributor, right? Whether you do anything or not, whether you read your books or not, attend your trainings or not, technically you all become a distributor. You all become an owner of your tracking center, right? That box that you see in your virtual office, right? The tracking center, you know, that is your shop. You are the owner. Your name is there, right? So if you work hard, your shop will start generating income for you. So you become an owner compared to slavery. You work for somebody else. Right? In your job, you don't do your job. You don't finish your task. You think you'll remain in a job? A lot of people say, you know, here also we are working for QNET. No? <laughs> yes, you're working for QNET. But if you don't work, if you don't do a single sale, still your, your IR ID will still be there. You are still the owner. Do you realize this? And every time more you work, right, in your job, even if you work double, let's say you work extra hours, right? You don't get paid extra most of the time. Here in this business, you start working more, you start putting more effort, you start growing, you know, growing your team, build your bigger business, you start earning more, your income starts growing, multiplies. Because it's ownership, it's direct link to your effort. Right? And third, the most important thing in network marketing is you work as a team, you're not building this business alone. Nobody has ever achieved anything alone. So work as a team, work as a family, become strong or you die alone. So if you ask me, the choice is very, very simple and very, very obvious. I would rather work in a team with the support of my appliance, with this power of association, identify like-minded people, build my own team with the help of my team above, you know, my appliance above, right? Take full ownership of my business, my profits, my income, my checks, my rank, my everything. Right? And work for, you know, saving the cost. Right? So network marketing is all about these basic few principles, right? The challenge is we are not mentally ready. We are not mentally ready to learn something which is not known to us, which is unknown to us. And that's why I said in the beginning, right? If you love the unknown, if you're excited for the unknown, then you will go through this process of learning. Okay? Then you will learn this. And let me summarize this business for you all. So all the new people. So you come as a young puppy in this business, like I was, not knowing anything, only excited. Young, excited puppy. Have you seen an excited puppy? <laughs> so I was that young, excited puppy. You know, before, uh, I'll show you later. I'll show you later. Something very, very exciting. You know, my wife, P. Sharfun, showed me yesterday. So I want to share something. Yes, give a big round of applause. Yeah, I'll share that with you all later. So I was an excited puppy. Okay, I was excited to come to association, excited to read my books, excited to make my name list, my dream list. I did all those things and all those people and I let me share this, right? So, 
So many people, you know, many appliances tell me why they are not reading books. I don't know. They are not reading books. They are not reading books. What to do? I can tell you only one thing, right? You, you know, जैसे बोलते हैं ना आप अपनी कब्र खुद खोद रहे हैं. Not reading books. So either you are digging your foundation and build your Burj Khalifa, or you are digging your own grave by not reading. So if you are reading, you are digging your foundation. If you are not reading, you are digging your own grave. Don't do that. Dig your foundation. Any which ways you'll be digging something. <laughs> so read your books. <laughs> I finished. You know, I took two days off from my office and finished all my books. You know, literally locked myself. I locked myself in a room because imagine if you don't go to office for two days, you think company will collapse? You think company will shut down? No. But if you don't read your books, you will shut down. You will shut down in this business. I can give you in writing. You will shut down one day. So better take two days off and read your books and become strong. Build your foundation strong. Very very important. So I locked myself, had my food, everything, and when I came out of those, you know, after two days, I read all the books. I did not understand everything in one go. But you know, my horizon was expanded. I was like, you know, on top of the world. I felt like, man, why nobody gave me these books before? This is so powerful. Whatever I had heard, so all those negativities, scam, challenges, chain, all those questions, problems that people may ask me, right? Or I can hear, or I can see. I got my answers before. I got a vaccination, solid vaccination. Before I came outside, you realize how powerful that is. Yeah, right. So I literally put myself in lockdown, got my vaccination, and then I came out. <laughs> Till now, no negativity has ever been able to touch me. Thanks to my books, thanks to that foundation which I laid down, thanks to my appliance. You know who told me the most important thing right now is to finish your books, right? So I was excited. So I read my books, right? Every day I went to association. I read down, you know, I wrote my name list. A lot of people struggle with, you know, with the name list. No, I don't know people. You know, I cannot talk to people. You know why? Why they struggle? Not because they don't know people. Because they're not excited about knowing people. You think people who have five hundred name lists they max out? They also don't max out. So it actually, honestly, it does not matter. It does not matter whether you have fifty people or five hundred people. The question is, are you an excited person? Because today, if you have fifty people, or let's say you are not that kind of a person who would meet people, talk to people, or approach people, are you willing to change? Are you happy being who you are today? If you are happy, then why are you in this business? Because I was not happy being where I was, being who I was. and i think that is an honest acceptance that everybody needs to have because if you keep denying and keep saying no no i don't need this no i am good i am okay then why are you doing this business ask yourself no so stop fooling yourself and accept that i am not happy the way i am the way my finances are the way i have been operating all my life right where i have reached i am not happy i am not satisfied you understand that is the first acceptance which forced me to change and that because i wanted to change because i was excited to change everything i did you know that excitement excitement brought me more results you know it helped me to do things fast if you are excited you can read your books fast if you are not excited if it's work it's load you know pressure i don't want to read i don't like reading i feel feel sleepy if this is what you are telling yourself again and again and again then when will you finish your books never <laughs> never <laughs> you can be in this business for 2 years 3 years and you may not have read your books possible i know a lot of new people will be thinking why why would somebody do that yes people do that and then people say you know i did not become successful in this business you should not become successful because if you become if a person like this becomes successful then this is 100% scam true or not so understand guys it is all about who you are and what you want to become 
So I became first excited about this possibility, this hope, this opportunity that I can change something in my life. Because before this business, there was no hope also left. Okay. And I'm saying, saying this with, you know, with all humility, with all the respect to my jobs, degrees, your degrees, my degrees. Yes, there was no hope. Correct? So everything I did, so I was an excited ayah and then I had my working up line, you know, who, who used to present all my plans, you know. Initially, VP Kavita would present all my plans, right? Yeah. So present IR and presenter. So you are the represent, you know, you are the referent and then you have a presenter. So this combination, you know, this Jodi is what is the beginning of a great relationship. This is the beginning of network marketing. There's one plus one becomes 11 in this business. The referer and the presenter, the IR and the working up line. And that is where your strength, your energy, your excitement. You think every day will be fruitful? No. Like it looks like sometimes, you know, not fruitful. It is always fruitful because you're learning every day. But you will not get sign up. You will not get, you know, you know, every day you'll make money. No. Most of the days will be dull, boring, or, you know, rejections, pain, cries, everything. But this one plus one, right? This is like, you know, Jay or Viru, Shole, you know, remember Shole? Like Jay Viru. It's like husband, wife, actually husband, wife, upline, downline, actually more than husband, wife. They become best friends. Do you understand what I'm saying? So if you don't have that kind of bond, right? And if you don't want to create that bond, sorry, network marketing is not for you. If you're not excited about this relationship, then you cannot grow in this business. Nobody is perfect. You know, nobody will be perfect. You will never be perfect. Your upline will never be perfect. But this combination can become perfect. You understand? The challenge is when your ref, you know, when your upline, when you're working upline is telling you to do something and you're resisting, or you are not changing, or you are not doing, what will be the relationship? How will you see this relationship? Not aligned. Cannot last. You can see friction, you can see force, you can see, you know, true or not? Why these books, trainings, association is important? Because then you start thinking like you're upline. You understand? The challenge is most of the time you are scared because you have not read your books. You bring a person on table, your presenter, you know, your upline is putting his or her heart, right? Explaining everything, telling everything, showing the big picture, everything. And then you're sitting there like a dumb who doesn't know what is happening. Or you're fearful. What if he gets to know? What if he gets to know this is chain? What if he asks me this question? What if he asks me this question? What do you think will be the energy? What do you think will happen to this plan, to this presentation? So the IR and the upline, you know, should become one, should become one. Okay. And that is why spending that physical time, association, late night time, you know, knowing each other, because how will you, how will you become one? If you don't trust each other, if you don't know each other, if you don't have that bond with each other, how will you, how will you become one? How will your mindset and your upline's mindset become one? It is not possible. It is just not possible. You all know this experiment, right? When we were kids, we did this, right? You bring a nail, iron nail, and you keep it with the magnet. Remember or not? We all created our own magnets, true or not? You know how long you need to keep it? Long enough so that this becomes magnet. Right? And that is when 
you will become ready for this business till the time that exchange you know that knowledge transfer like in it you know they say kt 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 right <laughs> this kt is not just kt of you know what this what to do the plan the presentation or the product no the kt is about what not to do right what challenges will come how to deal with these challenges it's okay it's okay to cry it's okay to feel low it's okay to so all this is also knowledge transfer when you spend that time with your upline when you build that bond and when everything looks man nothing is lost i can still do it you understand how will you quantify how will you do that without being one it is not possible okay so from ir and then you know slowly slowly you graduate to become a presenter because when you have your few drs you know 10 drs 20 drs you have a team then you are now that presenter true or not imagine put yourself in your upline shoes put yourself in your upline shoes what kind of downlines do you want don't you want your downlines to trust you to believe in you to be with you to ask you to you know to take from you don't you want that kind of downlines how many of you want tell me honestly how many of you want a team like that you know super switched on excited aligned you know want to know want to grow want to... how many of you want everybody wants right now ask yourself are you that person for somebody are you that person for somebody are you or not pucho baba ho ki nahi ho or are you dragging the energy down or are you always sad upset right not learning not pushing not coming up or you need motivation all the time why do you need motivation all the time i have a problem with all those people who need motivation all the time you know there are a lot of people who say no i can do this but you know andar se nahi aa raha andar se nahi aa raha you know it's not coming from within you know or they have some problem some challenge some something in their life which is always bigger than their abilities or you know they always get stuck and they need that you know a person who does not know anything right who is scared who is fearful but self motivated is better than a person who knows everything can do everything can learn very fast very intelligent person i would any day choose this person who is less intelligent right i have seen people you know simple people right who don't know how to speak also become successful in this business because they are self motivated because a self motivated person can change from any place right from zero he can change 100 times but a person who needs motivation no even if he has to change from 90 to 100 no he will not change because he needs motivation no you understand and that is what i mean by you know lighting yourself when you light yourself up when you light this lamp up you are that excited joyous you know you you are that curious kid right avi do you have that video let me show you what an excited kid looks like ha uh, avi appa amma bye bye <laughs> المدرسه <laughs> 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 You know, so this is a young girl going to school. How excited she is! She's making her father also happy. Yeah, true or not? Can you see it one more time? Watch it again. Do you want to watch again? Ah, huh? one more time. Ah, huh. Avi, play it again. I can't stop watching this. This is amazing. Bye. 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 <laughs> يلا مع السلامة يا بنت قدام المدرسة المدير هتطرد الخصم
من وقته داعي يلا يا بابا الناس يلا مع السلامة مو وقته الحين قدام المدرسة امشي يا شيخة يلا مع السلامة Okay, great. You know? Chalo, chalo. It, let's let's all of us do this. Okay, get up, all of you, get up, all of you, all get up, get up, get up, get up. Chalo, let's do this. Yes, yes. Chalo, chalo, kar ke dikhao. Bazaar mujhe. Chalo, get up, get up, get up. Everybody, get up. Abhi pata chalega, you know? Are you ready for network marketing or not? Abey, yar, ab kya? Ye drama hai na? Ye sab chizhe pasand nahi hai. So ye drama kar kar ke yahan tak pahuncha hu main. I have reached here only by following these stupid, stupid, simple, simple things. You understand? So can you all do this? Yes, yes, yes. Can you all do this? Yes, yes, yes. Do this, do this. Hello, hello, Shweta, Sarath. Hey, come on, do this. Hey, why? What are you waiting? New IR, Anita. Anita, get up, get up, get up. I can see you. See, I can see you all. Get up, get up, get up. Do this. Yes. Kitna hesitation ho raha na? Huh? Kitna problem ho raha na? So difficult, Baba. Sab log aaram se baithe hue the. Yar, abhi ye kya hai? See, yes, karne se thoda business ho jaye. Yes, karne se thoda max out ho jaye. Yes. Imagine if you say this every moment, every moment, right? You say yes to your books. You say yes to training. You say yes to association. Yes, yes. You know, you're going through the grind. You think I was not in pain? You think I never felt like not going? Hundred times, hundred times I felt like giving up. Hundred times I felt it is painful. I cannot do this. I cannot do this. But don't allow yourself that luxury of continued, you know, pain. Learn to arrest yourself. Learn to stop yourself. Learn to say yes fast. You understand? Learn to say yes fast, and that's what I did. Okay, so become that excited person. Become that entrepreneur. Entrepreneur के पास कुछ नहीं होता है यार. He does not. Most of the time, he does not have anything except for an idea. True or not? The you know the entrepreneur in the real world, other than network marketing, they have nothing. They have no finances. Nobody believes them. Narayan Murthy, Dhirubhai Ambani, they had only one idea. Only one idea. No money. No team. Nothing. Knowledge भी नहीं. No knowledge, also true or not? We are super blessed, man. We are super blessed. We have a support system. We have an amazing industry. We have an amazing company. Gain yourself, you know. Gain knowledge because there is no. Okay, you know why? Why we have sit down, sit down. All of you, sit down. You're not done. I'm not done yet. Sit down. You know why so many people talk bad about this industry, and I know this is a challenge. And I really love you all for still facing this challenge every day and going out and showing your plans. Respect, okay? Respect and love for each one of you who are fighting this battle on a daily basis and showing plans and showing plans, facing rejections. You know your relatives don't trust you. Your brothers may not trust you. Your closest family may not trust you. may be against this business against this industry and they are not wrong to some extent and this is what you need to understand okay so hear me very carefully when people say this is a bad industry chain scam all these things you know to some extent they are right because many people many people in fact most of the people who come in this industry right they never change they never take ownership they never become a good example for others you understand they never read their books they never commit themselves to learning to change to become better and they you know do something in this business maybe we sign a few people also but they are still not serious they still not committed so how long will that relationship last how long will they last in this business if they're not driven by the right values if they're not driven by this you know this fire in side and how long will they last every every chance they get 
you know somebody said something a blind did not say something or said something they are just waiting for excuses to quit the business you understand they just want to put the blame on something and run away because they never wanted to be committed you understand so people blame it on the media blame it on the negativity on the google blame it on upline sometimes blame it on the company blame it on the products blame it on so many things because they wanted to find some excuse so that they can quit because they always wanted to quit they never wanted to commit on this diwali i want all of you all to make that decision that you will commit you are not committing to qnet or this business you are first committing to yourself that i commit myself to my dreams i commit myself to my change to my learning commit to that no give yourself a fair chance and then slowly slowly you will understand what qnet is what this you know this company you know particularly you know in in this whole industry also this company is different and i'm telling you know i'm just back from vcon and many people you know on this call were also in vcon right vijay was there vijay me you know we were serving this time right unbelievable right this company is different guys trust me now i know it is very difficult to believe in the beginning so i don't want to make a big point but you stay long enough in this business you get to know the founders the v partners you know their heart their value system their mindset their vision you will start believing what i am saying seeing is believing so i want you all to stay long enough to see all these things with your own eyes okay imagine you know this company is started is based on integrity so let me tell you, you know since a lot of new people are there and i'm sure one day you will hear this story from dato sri's own in his, from his own mouth but this company you know yes can we have a big round of applause for our great founders dato sri and japa right so they were networkers like you and me they were building a small team you know working for some other company can you imagine and then that company stopped the commissions they they stopped paying the commissions because they were growing and they were making a lot of money imagine now these dato sri and japa and few other people you know they are the uplines like you know you have uplines they are the uplines right and this team of 2000 3000 people has trusted them has believed in them right and imagine company stopped paying the commissions now they had choice their choice they can also cry and say you know what can we do like you are crying we are also crying true or not see it's not only your money now our money also gone no true or not they can cry no you know what they did and that is what an entrepreneur is all about that is what a visionary is all about they said what happened to me is my problem but my team my people who trusted me right their trust should not be dishonored so all the uplines at the top you know they made sure that these 2000 people get paid they get their commissions and that's how they started their own company so that is the beginning of qnet that is how qnet was formed you understand what i'm saying that is how the v and the qnet came into picture so this company is based on integrity based on respecting trust honoring trust so when you come in this business when you come in our family you know it is expected that you will honor that trust which uplines you know which our founders have passed on to us right that's why everybody who is in this business who you say i am a distributor of unit it is your moral duty moral duty to read and learn everything about the company about the business about the products and services and never tell a lie okay god knows in 12 years i have never told a lie about my business never okay not even one lie i will never say anything which i don't truly believe in is to be true so you never have to lie and you can become very successful in this business are you understanding what i'm saying yes lot of time you know new people they don't understand the process they don't understand okay why are we hiding why are we not telling the name this that lot of questions people have 
because they don't understand there is a mindset behind any process right the very fact that in the beginning you know you are you are not allowed to speak too much because you will end up speaking something that you cannot support that you cannot hold yourself you understand so that is the objective objective is not to hide anything and that is why people who follow the process rigorously they automatically they start following the process first because of their excitement right excitement for unknown excitement even if i don't know it's okay i can follow because they are excited right and then slowly slowly because of that excitement they start following the process they start doing the right things and then they start seeing some results right result you know whether you get a sign up or no sign up result means you are learning every time you are learning right and that learning is making you a better person is making you a better entrepreneur today i understand lot of things which my appliances were telling me in the first day first week of the business you understand so even if you don't understand everything today right you can still follow if you are an excited person just understand this one simple thing anybody who's brought you in this business okay trust me guys when you sign up you know the whole money so let's say tomorrow you have a sign up let's say somebody trusts you and sign up starts the business do you get the whole money in your business or in your pocket no true or not the 3 lakh 4 lakh rupees that, that doesn't come to you that's the cost of the you know the purchase of the product that goes to the company but imagine because somebody trusted you you become responsible for that person for rest of your life so do you realize the the value of that trust do you realize how much burden your upline or your referrer has taken on themselves so i understood only this one thing so even if your referrer is a stranger no understand this one thing you know that trust love care that will take time but if you have seen the financial model right if you have seen that left right understand this one thing that without my downline becoming successful i cannot become successful correct or not so is there any logic any logic that a person of a sound mind will think of doing anything wrong to his or her downline cannot so i did not understand all my uplines in the beginning right sachin bhai was a stranger for me they was a stranger for me right true or not but what i understood was that this because of this financial logic you know this you know they cannot do anything which is not good for my business because anything bad for me means it is bad for their business also true or not and that helped me to follow that helped me to keep my judgment my you know my brain aside and follow are you understanding so your excitement to follow and your choice to follow both are very closely linked because if you are excited you can choose to follow if you are not excited you will find reasons why not to follow this is problem this is wrong this is not right why we are saying this why we are doing this 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 and you can keep doing this you know till the cows come home and eventually as i said no you you are digging your own grave right and i really miss all those people you know lot of people came in this business in 12 years lot of people with lot of potential lot of dreams lot of they came in this business but you know they somehow could not overcome this battle in their own mind they could not become that excited entrepreneur who sees an opportunity right who can see this business as a solution and once you know that this is a solution right if let's say you have a cure for cancer do you want to keep it to yourself no you will never keep it to yourself right or not so that's what happened and that is what network marketing is all about once you are 100% closed once you are 100% in the business right once your mindset your knowledge your belief your conviction right and your upline okay remember that jodi right once that happens this is unstoppable this is unstoppable this jodi is unstoppable 
No one person can grow in this business. Remember this. Look at any upline. Look at chief. No, chief will not be chief without Dato Sri and Jaffa. True or not? Look at any V partners. Look at any. You know all our uplines, right? Look at VP Sharfoon, VP Kavita, VP Sachin. You know. Look at VP Dev. Look at anybody who is somebody in this business or in life. Right? You will always see that jodi. You will always see there is not one person, more than one person, but it starts with that one person. That's why, you know, a very special respect for that working upline. Okay? Your working upline may push you, right? Sometimes, you know, be you know unreasonable with you. But there is a reason. Allow that person to be unreasonable with you, to push you, to wake you up. Because sadly, we are, we, you know, we, we are not doing it ourselves. <laughs> because if we are doing it ourselves, then nobody has to do it. No? True or not? Then nobody has to do it. But unfortunately, we don't do it for ourselves. Forget about money. You know, we don't, don't even remember our own dreams. True or not? Do you know when you write your dream list, when you write your dream list, the whole weight of your dream list and you share it with your upline, when you write down and you share it with your upline, you can forget. But your uplines take it very, very seriously, guys. They take it very, very seriously. Okay? Because they have become little better person than what they were before. You understand? And this journey, this business is all about, that's why, you know, that's why, yes, it starts with you, but faster you understand that it is about my downlines. It is about my next DR. It is about this stranger. It is about this person. It is about this person on my list. It is about everybody. Whether you know them today or not, trust me, it is about others. You understand? So when you start caring for your downline like that, nobody can stop you from maxima. Okay? That is what is called by, you know, you will hear this many times, you know, doing this business with your heart, put your heart in this business, put your heart in. What does that mean? Heart means you start caring for others. You start caring for others. Why will you call everybody? Because you care for others. Why it will not be a task and it will be, you know, it will, you are doing your karma. I'm not saying everybody will sign up. I'm not saying everybody will pick up your phone also, right? But do you care enough to call everybody and tell them and share without worrying about what they will think about you? That is what entrepreneurship is all about. You are not scared to take risk. You're not scared to take chances. Every call, there is a risk, no? <laughs> What will that person think about me? Whether he will talk to me or not, whether he will come or not, whether he'll sign up or not. This, you know, is it really risk? Think about it. Is it really a risk? What is the worst thing that can happen in our business? No. True or not? But an entrepreneur does not stop taking risks. Okay? He keeps on doing it, keeps on doing it because he knows if I don't do this, this is not risk. What I will lose if I don't do this, that is the bigger risk. I was not driven by million dollars. I was driven because I knew if I don't do this business, my son, you know, his smile will go. I will never be able to smile. I'll never be able to get out of that financial trap. So that pain, that risk was very, very high. Risk of not doing this business was very, very high compared to whatever could happen in this business. Are you all understanding what I'm saying? So are you all ready to take that decision? Right? Because I don't want you to just celebrate Diwali tomorrow. By the way, happy Diwali. <laughs> happy Choti Diwali today. Choti Diwali, then Badi Diwali, then Bada Din, then Bosari Badi Badi Chijay Hongi My Life Me. True or not? But you know, honestly, for entrepreneurs, every day is Diwali. Every day is Eid. Every day is Christmas. You understand? That's how their excitement is. They are lit every single day. In the worst days, no. In the when nothing is happening, no. They still manage to, you know, bring a smile. They still manage to smile a little. Because that smile, you know what? I read this quote, very beautiful quote. You know, a smile, you know what it tells? It does not tell that you don't have any problems. It just tells that you are little more stronger than your problems. 
Correct or not? A smile on your face tells the world that you are that stronger, this much stronger, not very strong maybe, but itna sa, you are stronger than your problems, your challenges, your situation. And if you are stronger, you can change them. Correct or not? So become that person, guys. Okay? This Diwali, take that decision that I will be that lit person all my life. I will become, because you know, you just cannot light one lamp, no? Do you light one dia? <laughs> cannot, right? You know, that's not enough. You light thousands of lamps. You see, you can light the whole world. You can light the whole world. That's the power of one lamp. You can light as many lamps as you want. As, as big your heart is, you keep lighting the lamps. Why do you think Datu Sri still is doing this business? You know, he doesn't have any kids. Imagine, you know, Datin Sri and Datu Sri, they decided not to have kids. They have, you know, they have, they have got parents to so many kids. Right? Why is he doing this? He's a, you know, he's a Forbes magazine. He comes, you know, goes and talks on World Economic Forum. Why do you think he has to talk to all of us? But he does that. Every year, every six months, you know, there's so many different platforms because he, he is a lit soul. You know, he's lighting each one of us. And tomorrow, each one of you will be in that place where you, God has given you this power. Without this business, can you sign up anybody anywhere? <laughs> can you sign up people in your company for your job, for the next job? Can you sign up people? Cannot. So don't take this power for granted. This is a power. You understand? This is a great opportunity, great power. Don't take it for granted. Without QNET, we have nowhere to sign up anybody for anything. Okay? You cannot light anybody. So, love you all. Thank you so much. I wish you all a very, very happy Diwali. Right? May you all, you know, celebrate your Diwali every single day. Every single day, every call, every plan. You know, for me, Diwali means, you know what? You know, when Satya told me, why Diwali system? I know only one thing. Diwali means, you know, muhurat purchase. <laughs> Remember? Old guys will know this, no? Every, every Diwali, you know, and this is our tradition. This is our tradition. Every festival, you know, gather with your team, celebrate, enjoy, do puja, do whatever you want to do, but not forget that you are an entrepreneur, that you are a businessman, right? My father first used to do puja at, at his shop, right? We all used to go to his shop. You understand? And then we will be busy burning crackers and then he will not shut down his shop. He will not shut down his shop even on Diwali, right? And that is what an entrepreneur is. That is why respect for an entrepreneur. They don't just go with the crowd. They stand out from the crowd. Okay, so your choice, guys. Do you want to just burn crackers, mithai, this, that, feel happy for two days? Or do you want to become that person for the rest of your life? Okay, I love you all. Thank you so much for being patient. I wish you all a very, very happy Diwali. Great, prosperous you know, year ahead and then we'll meet very, very soon. Okay? Love you guys. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.